Welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, I will guide you through the process of constructing a 135 degree angle without using a protractor. Before we begin, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this video. Doing so will ensure that you and your friends do not miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you. This tutorial will guide you on how to construct a 135 degree angle without using a protractor. Let's begin the lesson. Draw a straight line using a ruler. Mark point A on the line at any position. In my case, it is on the left side. Using a ruler, align zero with point A and measure any length. For this tutorial, I am using 10 centimeters. Label the end point as B. Mark point O anywhere on the line segment AB. I have chosen this position. Place the compass at point O and draw a semicircle. Label the two intersection points as C and D. Note, a semicircle measures 180 degrees, as a full circle is 360 degrees, and half of it is 180 degrees. Bisect the semicircle to create two 90 degree angles. To do this, place the compass at point C and draw an arc above the semicircle. Then, place the compass at point D and draw another arc that intersects the first arc. Using a ruler, draw a straight line from point O through the intersection above the semicircle. Label the new intersection on the semicircle as point E. Next, divide one of the 90 degree angles into two equal 45 degree angles. I will divide the left 90 degree angle into two 45 degree angles. To achieve this, place the compass at point C and draw an arc. Then, place the compass at point E and draw another arc to intersect the first arc. Using a ruler, draw a straight line from point O through the intersection. This creates two 45 degree angles. Finally, combine a 45 degree angle with a 90 degree angle to obtain a 135 degree angle. This is the correct method for constructing a 135 degree angle without a protractor. You may now use a protractor to measure the angle and verify that it is indeed 135 degrees. Once again, please subscribe, like, and share this channel and video. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Until then, keep practicing. Goodbye.